On behalf of Kyle and Aaron, it's my privilege to say a personal word of greeting and welcome. Uh, you are special in their hearts and their lives, and they're honored that you've made the effort to be here and share in this uh, tremendous time of covenant making. Can I turn around? Hey. Hey, baby. I love you. And I just remember him saying this is worth waiting for. And And I felt really quickly for the way that you love the people around you and your humble spirit and the way you love Jesus. And I, you respected me and loved me even before you realized that you loved anything more than steak. <laughs> and I truly, truly believe that God carefully placed us together, knowing that Kyle and Aaron is one who's far greater than us on our own. I love you, I love your family, I love your friends, and last night, at the rehearsal dinner, it hit me that half of the incredible people in that room were brought into my life because of you. And I just can't thank you enough for introducing such an immense amount of love into my life. And I still can't really believe that I get to call you my husband. And I never could have dreamed it for a husband like you. And I can't wait for a lifetime of golf course dates, packing your lunches. <laughs> And last minute trips to see our friends. And I'm so happy to be your wife. I'm great. Thank you. Alright, Aaron. I thought I'll always love you as God loves this church. Unconditionally, unwavering, and forever. I will support you in all of your desires no matter how big. <laughs> You're the light of my world and the girl of my dreams. I will protect you from all that I can, bear your burdens, and do my absolute best to bring empathy to my role in this marriage. <laughs> Had many, we have many hard times ahead. There's no one I'd rather attack and overcome them with. I vow to be the husband God has called me to be. I will hold you forever and be the hand that wipes the tears from the cheek. Together and with God, all things are possible. Aaron, I cannot wait to marry you. Please take my hand and never let go. That's so good. That was good. <laughs> Uh, today you guys start a new journey. And they say a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And whatever you do, or how many places you go, or ventures you take, or golf balls you hit, or gluten-free snacks you make, <laughs> I want to thank you for letting me be a part of seeing you guys take your very first step together as a married couple. It's with exceeding joy that I pronounce you Kyle and Aaron, husband and wife, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. It's with great joy that I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Aaron Westmoreland.
our parents share this sentiment as their marriage has set the standard for what the three of us aspire to have. So thank you, Mom and Dad, for setting such a great example. Um, quick thank you to both of you, obviously, for such a great, beautiful evening. My advice to both of you would be this. In life, if you don't work hard to achieve happiness and accept success, it doesn't hold as much weight. So marriage is exactly the same. If you put in the work, you reap the benefits, and it becomes the greatest gift you're given in life. We wish you both a lifetime of love and hope you both cherish this gift you've been given. To Aaron and Kyle, cheers. As Maya Angelou once said, people will forget what you say, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Please never forget how you make each other feel. I ask that you be patient with one another, continue to make all those around you feel blessed, and wish you a happy marriage. Erin, I hope I've made you feel like a sister from the beginning. This just makes it official. I love you both and look forward to sharing many more memories with you. This moment will become a beautiful memory tomorrow. May you create a lifetime of beautiful and happy memories with each other. May God continue to bless you and keep you safe and grant you love and happiness all the days of your lives. God bless you and be happy.